Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this Logic Pro 10 video tutorial on using markers. Um, this is actually a video that someone emailed me and requested um, because I, I went back and looked, but I don't think I ever covered using markers in the main series. So markers are essentially a way for you to organize um, your um, organize your session, or at least be able to tell what section of your session you are on. So you can mark things as an intro, verse, chorus, build up, uh, drop, uh, bridge, whatever um, section is, you can sectional sectionalize things. Another thing that I've used markers for in the past is to identify chord changes. Um, this is particularly helpful if you're trying to collaborate with someone and um, it's helpful because if someone sends me their session, I'm trying to collaborate with them well, then I they can mark their session with chords so I know what chord progression is being played at, at a given time. So the way you add markers is you click on this button right here. This is the uh, show and hide global tracks. And you go to the marker option and you hit the plus sign. And what that does is it creates a new marker wherever your playhead is. Then you can double click on that marker and call it whatever you want. Um, for this session, uh, I've got an intro that starts here, a first verse, a build up, and then a drop. And then basically the rest of the song is verse, drop, verse, build up, drop, verse, build up, drop is what it is. So there's a couple ways we can create markers. The first is we can just, I'm using the uh, greater than, less than so, uh, symbols on the keyboard to sort of jump around bar to bar. You can also hold shift while you um, uh, use that those keys to jump around by eight bars. And you could just start at the beginning of the intro, add a marker, double click, call it intro, hit enter, jump over to the next section, which is my first verse. So say verse one, gonna jump over a bit. Here's the uh, the drop, or not the drop, the build up. I'll call this build up. Tab over a couple more times. Here's our drop. Tab over a couple more times. Here is the second verse. Call it verse two, and so forth and so on. Um, so when you create markers like this, you'll see that the end point of the marker um, just gets overlapped by the next marker you create, but the last marker you create goes to the end of the session, which we'll talk about how to uh, shorten that in just a moment. Um, so after we've created our markers, um, and actually one thing you can do that makes this a little bit faster is you can actually hold shift while you select these, hit command C to copy them, put the playhead where you want the new markers to go, and hit command V to paste. So I can actually paste in uh, the same marker link for all these. So I've got a build up and a drop. Then I've got verse three this time. Oops, that's the build up. Verse three over here. There we go. And then I've got a build up and a drop over here again. There we go. And I don't have verse another verse after that. So let's delete that marker, click on it and hit delete. So we've got all of our uh, markers for the whole session. Um, when we collapse our global tracks, you'll see that the names still stay up here, um, up in the ruler, but they're kind of hard to see. Um, a way I like to, to view them is I like to colorize them. So you just click on colors over here, or you go up to uh, view, show colors. And I just like to colorize them. So let's make the intro red. I'm gonna hold uh, command while I, or shift while I collect, uh, select these. So maybe I'll make the verses purple or something. Make the buildups this color, and then make the drops another color. Um, and again, this is all just for organi uh, organization. So now when I collapse that, you can see all the markers up there. Now, what we're seeing here is one marker set. Um, you can actually create multiple marker sets. Um, and the way you do that is you click on marker right here, and you go marker sets new set. But first, let's rename this set. Let's call this set um, song order, because that's what it is. So that's the song order. So now let's um, create a new set. In this set, we're going to call chords. I want to know what the chord progression to the song is, maybe if I'm collaborating with someone. Well, the beginning of the song, the only chord that's being used is F sharp minor. So I'm going to type in F sharp little m. And then as we get over to the buildup, 
we have this repeating chord progression that's uh, D, E, and then F sharp. And if I want to um, basically copy and paste and move that chord progression over, you just select these by holding shift, hit command C, and just copy and paste the progression. And then when we get to the verse, or the, not the verse, the drop, the drop is just basically one, one chord, F sharp minor. So this way I can, I can notate to myself what the chords actually are. And I can colorize these as well if I, if I want. Now another way to view your, your markers, like if I wanted to select all of these and colorize them, is you can click on uh, this right here. This uh, opens up your list editors and make sure you have marker view. And it'll give you a list of all the markers you've created. Um, their starting position in uh, uh, MIDI time clock. So bars, beats, um, it's basically bars, beats, divisions, and ticks. And then also the length. Now the length defaults to 0001 tick. Um, if you want to alter the length, usually only of really the last one is the one that matters because they automatically get overlapped anyway. But let's say I want this one to just be one bar in length. You can double click on the, the time clock value and type in just one, it'll make it one bar long. If you click and drag up or down, you can actually increase or decrease the length of that, of that marker. So this F sharp goes right until measure 58. So I can just pull this up until I reach 58. Another thing I can do over here is I can select all of these. So if I select them all, then go to colors, I can colorize all of them, just like so. And I can collapse my global tracks and so when I'm in here trying to write new material, I can see exactly what chord is going on for every measure. And if I want to go switch back to song order, all I have to do is over here in marker set or over here in the global tracks, you choose what marker set you're on. So here's the song order marker track. Here's the chords marker, uh, marker set, I should say. Now one last thing you can do, um, let's create a new marker set for this. Let's say you're trying to designate just the intro right here. Instead of creating a marker uh, just by clicking um, the plus button here, you can actually drag over one of your longer clips that's equal to the length of the section, and you can say, create markers from regions. So it creates a marker from the region. It names it after the region, but then you can just double click and rename this, call it intro or whatever you want. The only thing you have to be careful of is if you have like multiple regions like this and you try to like drag over all of these, and you say create markers from regions, what it does is it creates multiple markers, so we don't want that. We just want maybe this, um, maybe just these two to, to designate the marker, just like that. All right, so I hope this uh, video helped you guys with working with markers. Again, I said it was a, uh, it was a video that someone had requested um, because I, I never talked about markers in the main logic series. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.